Eamon, I guess with so many proposed rules on the way, um, it can seem overwhelming on paper. On the field of play, there's more administration and there's more officiating to maybe look at. How will referees cope with that? And is there a lot for players to, to, to grasp as well? Yeah, we've been very conscious of making the referee's job easier, if at all possible, Damien. We, we definitely don't want to be burdening them with a kind of an extra workload. So one of the things that they're going to get assistance on is in terms of the timekeeping mm. and the stop clock, similar to what we have in the ladies' game, where a fifth official will control it on the referee's signal, be that the windmill signal and the whistle to start play, and then the crossover his head and whistle to stop the clock for the likes of substitutions, cards, injuries that need uh, treatment on the field of play, substitutions. Uh, it, that's when the clock will be stopped and then play on as normal. What options have the FRC currently uh, on their desk with regards to potential introduction of a stop clock? Yeah, there's three ways that the game can finish that we're still looking at. We can't get to that point of agreement. One is the, the Gaelic Park model that basically when the hooter goes, it's game over. Unless the ball is in the air, shot for a score, it's game over. Second one then is that we're looking at the possibility of having to play on until the next play and the ball goes dead, which can mean kicking it over the sideline or kicking it over the end line or a score. And the final one then is that it has to go dead at the opposition's end line. So you're either going for a score or it's kicked wide at the far side, which brings into play that if you have the ball in your own full back line, you're a point ahead, you have to get it down to the far side of the pitch, and which means that the, the, the team that are behind have an opportunity to press and try and get the ball back. Yeah, it's all very exciting as well. Uh, just going back to look at our graphic then, vanishing foam is going to be potentially introduced, Damon? Yeah, just uh, we felt that oftentimes, again, just in terms of tidying up the rules, that uh, you know free kicks that are taken, particularly free free kicks that are taken from the hands. The, the player will improve both the angle and distance from where the foul occurred. So with the, the, the vanishing foam, you're just marking the spot, the player goes out, and it's just making it very clear on where the free kick should be taken from. OK, and a final question for you then. I suppose by, by watching the games 18th and 19th, inter-county players will get a feel for it, and in turn, club players will get a feel for it over, over early next spring as well, potentially. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think the thing with the players, again, we found that they adapt to it. The thing with our players nowadays is they're so used to playing and training in different conditions and having different conditions in training games. They're used to adapting anyway. Yeah. And once they have a chance to think about it, they'll adapt no problem. And we think that they'll enjoy the game even more and they'll enjoy these enhancements, hopefully. Brilliant.